Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Welcome back to your Dollar Tree Theater. Yes, it is not Halloween. But we are going to be reviewing Trick or Treat. This is the 2019 version, not the one that we're all used to. It is a UK film. It is approximately 88 minutes long. It is directed by Edward Bose, starring Francis Barber, Jessamine Bliss, Richard Carter, Brady Dowd, Jason Flemings, Craig Kelly, and Dean Lennox. This is an SP film release and distributed by Echo Bridge. Again, approximately 88 minutes long on this film. So, following Trick or Treat, what we have is we have a, a gentleman that is settling in from having a life of crime. He's in his mid-40s and he's trying to settle down. He's got a new kid on the way. He's with his wife. And, well, he has a kid, and he's with his wife, and he's just trying to get his, his act together. And it's Halloween night, and he gets a knock on the door. And it's from his brother, and his brother says, hey, I have hit someone out there. And I'm not for sure if I've killed them or if they're knocked unconscious. Of course, his brother's been drinking and driving, and they've got to figure out what is going on. Who did you hit? What is the story? Let's figure out what is happening here. So... Anyways, in the process, they get another knock on the door, and it is the gentleman's relative that was hit. And he comes in the home, they break in the home, and start, start to charge, I can't talk today, try to start taking people hostage and capture the boys to basically get them to come to a, almost like a warehouse, right, where they're going to be held hostage and... Well, they have to answer to a drug kingpin, who is a woman that it's kind of looks like a witch almost. And she has to basically get them to pay for hurting their loved one. Of course, all this is taking place on Halloween night, so you get a little bit of the Halloween atmosphere with it. I do believe there is a carnival at some point in the film that is a Halloween carnival going on. Close to where all this takes place, there is a lot of high traffic car scenes involved as well. Uh, with this... Um, as far as that goes, so that's the premise, you know, they are trying to act revenge on, you know, our primary character here because of the fact that his brother has made a wrong and they want to act revenge on him as this, you would see in a Halloween film or a revenge film. Now, let me get into my thoughts on this one because I, I don't have a lot to cover on this one because it's really not what I was thinking it would be. This is more of a crime drama film. It's not really even what I would consider to be a horror film or your traditional Halloween film, by any means. Um, which is a disappointment for me because you know my love of Halloween. But that doesn't take me away from it. I mean, I did have fun with it. Uh, I thought the pacing was good. I thought that the, the effects were... They were okay. They weren't amazing, but they were okay. Um... You know, you get the digital, excuse me, you get the Blu-ray and the DVD copy uh, with this particular pack. I think it's definitely worth it for a buck, you know, just to kill time and would not check it out. But it's definitely not a Halloween film. If you're picking this up thinking it is a Halloween-based film, it is not. Now, you might have some people in costume. And it might take place at Halloween, but this is more of like a suspense film, like a crime film. But anyways, guys, that is my thoughts on Trick or Treat. It's kind of a short one. Um, really not in my favorite list, but I do like the cover. Let me know if you've seen this one. Uh, I would have to probably say this is definitely worth a dollar, and it's probably a one-time watch for me. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this one. If you, if you liked it, if you hated it. That is your Dollar Tree Theater film for the week. Catch up with you guys later. Peace. Mm -hmm.